taken enough of, enough of your lip. Oh! You guys? My robots! Do what you will. They're all dead, buddy. <laughs> no! We should be quick about this. Give me the tripod. It's in the trunk. Spread them, boys. Hey, you want me to hold it? <laughs> okay. Hold still. Oh, egg gig. Great. Attention! Stop! <laughs> One, One, two, two three. three. My name is Andre Kriegman. And I am Cal Gabriel. One, two, Wait, One, two, three, two, three go. And, and we, we are, are the, the army, army of two! two. <laughs> this is our high school, located in our town. It is our worst enemy. It is our nemesis. Fuck. What's next? Okay. There will be a series of missions followed by a final big ass mission <laughs> called Zero Day! Day. Mm. That's it. Oh, we're done now, right? Yeah. God, I hate this fucking school. I hate it. These are the best years of your life, Andre. <laughs> You recording? Yeah. The Army of Two has a myriad of supply depots all over the place. This one's in my closet. Probably about three, two or three meters of underwater burnt, underwater proof fuse. CO2 canisters for BB guns. Los Buletos de Mexico. <laughs> 22 caliber. These are generally used for rifles and uh, sometimes pistols. Aguila. Christina Aguila. <laughs> Shotgun shell. I'm gonna get a close up of that. 12 gauge. One of the most fun things we got here is I'll make a boom that'll blow your socks off. Bottle rockets right here. Gonna have some real fun with these tonight. Uh, fake ID for if we need to skip the country. Fake passport right here. Fake social security card. 20 Peruvian dollars. That'll probably buy us a stick of gum or something. Alright, um, we should probably start get going now. Let's rock and roll. Why are you even bothering taping? Are you gonna, you're not going to see anything. I got night vision. Give me a look on your face. Say something official sounding. We officially declare war. Mission one. Do you have like M80s or something uh, a little more interesting? What do we... Nah, man. This is just like ceremonial. We'll blow the big shit up. We'll blow the big shit up later. It's better to just keep a low profile. You know it. You mean you don't want anger management? <laughs> if I can help it, no. Check that out. Look at that. Tell me that doesn't look like you're a fucking ghost or something. <laughs> One, two, three. Let the countdown begin. I didn't know what we were going to say. Let, Let the, the countdown, countdown begin. begin. Whoa. Heads up. That was good. It was alright. Yeah. What do you mean, alright? What are you talking about? That was great.
So everyone's asleep in my house now. Alright, so this is the first entry in my zero day video diary. Everything is planned so methodically. It's just gonna be... It's gonna be... Unreal, it's gonna be... It's gonna be beautiful. It's so weird looking at yourself on video. It's like this is an eye. It's weird how it actually looks like a machine's pupil. I'm staring right at you through the tape and right at you. We're gonna leave you all behind. Just sticks in the mud that Andre and I have made. And we're gonna walk away. See, we... We see more than you do. We... Hi, guys! <laughs> Happy birthday, Andre! Happy birthday! Uh, I hope that's what you wanted. Yeah, exactly. Good, good yeah. cake there. Good cake, but how about good camera? The guy at the store said that little, um, what do you call that thing? That little screen on the side there that uh, apparently and gives you a better picture. I don't think that's really accurate. No, no, that, that's, that's not true yeah, at all. Yeah, please. So anyway, are you happy with your camera? You think it'll do? No, Dad, I want you to take it back right now. Of course. They don't do research. Excellence. Well, they will when I tell them to. Trail? What's I trail? Yeah, I hit the button. Alright, no, check that out. Let me see the camera. Ask us what we're doing tonight, everyone. What are you doing tonight, What's the other one? No, seriously, no. Now that I have you on tape, what are you up to tonight? Well, you know, figured, uh, buy some weed and go to a kegger. I don't know. What do you think? Say that again, please. No, not weed, LSD. Oh, you know, Why LSD, don't you try PCP, ecstasy while you're at heroin. it? Heroin. Oh, ecstasy. Nah, we're done with that. <laughs> That's an introductory no, drug. No, seriously. Okay, seriously, seriously are you, you're going out or yeah, you're staying in or what's gonna, the matter? We're just going to go out and do stuff, you know. We're not, we're no Brad Huffs here. Okay, Brad Huff. Okay. He... Captain of the wrestling team. Everyone thinks he's That like, says it all. He's like, everyone thinks he's like a god. This kid, like, drinks and drives. And the cops pull him over all the time, but somehow they never take away his license or his stupid Range Rover. I hate that car. You know, I hate to be the guy, the, the, the guy to break it to you on your 18th birthday of all days. <laughs> but uh, life isn't always fair, you know. Just because he gets away with something and he's a bad guy, you know, sometimes you do good things and, and it goes totally unnoticed as well. So. Gee, that, that's a major mood booster right there. Who needs Prozac when I got you, Dad? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> what do you want me to say? It's, it's the truth, Andre. Don't sit there now and try to figure it out because it's you're wasting your time. You're not getting anywhere. And I can even see you. Now I can. Well, thank you for breaking the news gently. Oh, listen. <laughs> I waited long enough. 18 years. See? <laughs> He's, you know, and then he goes around town and tells everybody what a smart guy he is. It's, it's nothing could be further from the truth. Thank you. No problem. Now you see what I have to put up with. Well, These are the best years of yeah, your life. Yeah, those would be the best years of your life. I think we better go now. You think so? Mind if we are uh, vamoose? Vamos. No, no, go ahead, go ahead. I, okay. Thank you, guys. Oh, let's see a group hug. Come on. A group hug for the camera. Get out of here if you want to come back. Okay. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh, God! Oh, why? Why? This is a pretty lame party. Uh, I'm just not good at parties. So are you happy with the camera? It's not the one I wanted. 
I mean, when they say, what do you want for your birthday, and you, you give them a certain model, and then they just go out and get something else hey. completely. Hey! What's doing out here? What's up, Chris? Nothing much. Did, where'd you get that thing? Let me see. Parents got it for me for my birthday. Uh, That's oh, a pretty cool effect on it. I'm tripping! So what's up? Nothing much. It's up to you. Uh, How's everything? Nothing much. I don't know. I don't know how many people your age are going to show up. But... Yeah, we probably won't stick around too much longer. Yeah. Dude, what time is it? Yeah, you know, there's white Russians in the freezer. Yeah, I saw that. So happy birthday. That one. Thank you. Korea's sister has a lot of really hot friends. <laughs> None of them wear panties. You know, if you... <laughs> what the hell are these How do you know they're not wearing panties? Because they had clothing on, it was just so tight and revealing. Well, the thongs don't count as panties. Alright, we're gonna head out. Alright. No, so, I'll see you later. Hey! Thanks for letting us drop by. Uh, do you still shoot? Not much. You mind if we uh, tag along next time you go? Yeah. That would be very cool. We could yeah. shoot some stuff to animals. Yeah, sure. If your parents think it's all right. Oh, uh, we'll, we'll convince them. Yeah. Yes, I'm going to call them. Yeah, of course you will. But yeah, absolutely. Next time I go. I want to go. I haven't been in like a year. All right, cool. All right, great. Well, see you later then. Hey, hey. Oh, Bye. hey, goodbye. I'll see all you later. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Oh, God. What? I can smell it from here already. Boy, I can't smell it yet. Ugh. Dude, you that's will. disgusting. I can't even get that fucking bag open. Damn! <laughs> oh, oh, wanna sniff? No! How long have they been there? About six weeks. Alright, well. I guess I should explain our, our first act of war. Basically, Brad Huff, the biggest shithead motherfucko the world has ever seen. He, he's everything we hate in one, one trusty, handy little form. We're gonna pelt that ugly, ugly piece of shit Range Rover of his with some six-week-old eggs. Life isn't fair, so we gotta even the score a little. That's not Brad Huff's house. Nope. This is gonna be awesome, man. It'll be alright, yeah. What do you mean alright? This is gonna be great. It's gonna be better if we had uh, shotguns, maybe. Ding dong. Hi, Mrs. Huff. Can we speak to uh, Brad? Is Brad home? Bradley, honey! Some friends of yours are here! Then he comes downstairs. What the fuck do you pussies want? I want you dead, bitch. Bang! T -t -t Bang! Get down. There it is. Where's his Land Rover? Fuck, it's not here. You want to break into the garage and see if it's in there? And risk getting caught and arrested for breaking and entering and screwing up the whole campaign? No. No, we, we stick to plan B. And that's we egg the house. What if that's him? What are you stopping at, motherfucker? All right, we got about seven minutes until 12 o'clock. We do it exactly at 12. We stick to the timetable. We got to start learning to stick to the timetable. Dude, I can smell this shit from outside the bag. Oh, I can smell it walking down the street. <coughs> oh, we're going to have to get new bags after this. No, like, we'll just... Or like a gallon of that Febreze shit. Febreze. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. Now we wait. What time is it? We have 10 seconds. Okay, good, it didn't break. Ready? Yeah. What now, Brad? <laughs> Alright, hurry up. Broke one. Gross. And the wind up. Dude, let's get the fuck out of here now. Come on, fuck, fuck. so fucking awesome. Did we win that? Yeah, it's like an honestly say, mission successful. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we running still? I don't know.
In order to make sure that the covert actions of the Army of Two remain secret, we're starting up a security protocol that starts now. If you think about it, anybody who's done anything like this in the past has had a website up, or they've done something stupid to attract attention to themselves. Most of the time, that's all they wanted was attention. We're not like that. See, these people, they didn't understand that if you had hit lists with people's names on them, that people wouldn't come down on you like gang rape in a maximum security prison. You gotta take a minute and you gotta think about things. If you're doing something like this, it's an, a military procedure. That's why we're the army of two, not the group of assholes with guns. These people are so fucking stupid, it's not even funny. I mean, if it were me, I would get them all in a room together and I would just spray them with raid like ants, except like human raid, okay? Now you might be thinking, well, hey, they're taping this, so of course they want it to be found. And you're right, we do want it to be found. Since you're watching this now. Exactly. We don't want it to be found until we're ready. We've decided that we're gonna set up a safety deposit box. Now, as many of you know, safety deposit boxes cannot be legally opened by anybody except the owner, unless the owner dies. When we're done, we're going to bequeath all of our information to a third party source. Probably media. What are the top three media people that you would enjoy willing this to? Okay, number one, Peter Jennings. Number two, Dan Rather. And number three, Wolf Blitzer. That, that's what I say. All right, we're here. You're going to have to turn that off for when we go inside because they're not going to let you have that. We are on location now in the bank security, bank, bank privacy room, security room, privacy room, whatever. And we are now going to put in the first set of record tapes to make sure that mommy doesn't find them under the bed. Hello? Hi mom. Um, right now, well, I'm with Cal. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll be home for dinner. Mom, I said I was going to be home for dinner. I'm going to be home for dinner. Alright, bye. So, that is that on top of that, isn't it? So they really can't get in there? They can't get in. They can't touch us now. They have no access to these tapes once they're sealed back up there. No one can open them except for me. <laughs> Here, you want to you look inside the box and like... Hey, you, like it. you want a touchy cow? Do you want to touch it, big boy? Here, touch my my box. Come on, touch it. Really, touch it, touch it. You, you want to feel any questions that our viewers may have? <laughs> hey, how you doing? Steven Spielberg. With yeah. You? <laughs> huh? This is just for for posterity here. Here we go. You should come when we did the upper. There's no fun doing the lowers. You know? Why not? What's the difference? Well, the uppers. Then you get them smiling with all his braces on, and then they come out and they're nice and shiny. You should have gotten them when we started with his teeth were so nice. Yeah, I know. I missed it. So long, braces. Bye bye, braces. Goodbye. Each one of these kind of fish. Pops the glue right off. And all I'm doing is squeezing the brace, and then put it in this up. Okay. Okay, rinse out. Okay. We're gonna give Calvin his own little retainer. There you go. Get a little better than that. No, not like. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. They're straight. I can't even believe it. Hi, mother. <laughs> ah, rah, 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 rah. You're cool. Okay. Was it worth the many years of years <laughs> of trips here? Yeah. Mr. Bananas. It was worth it. Eat Mr. Bananas. Yeah. Hello, and welcome to today's episode of Home Gun Review. Well, today we're going to teach you how to make a big gun small and easier to conceal. Come on in. 
You see, these days, anytime an 18 year old wants to gear up, you got some 60 year old loser sitting in a gun store saying, hmm, why does this 18 year old want to gear up? And so, we found a not so clever solution to this problem. To this age long dilemma. You see, there's so many guns just lying around. Why draw attention to yourself by buying new ones? My dad taught me how to hunt when I was a wee young lad. And uh, he always made me wait downstairs so that I didn't know where he was getting the guns and where the key was. Truth be told, I've known where the key was since the fifth grade. I, just hum I was just humoring him. Here she is. <laughs> Alright, let's check out the others. Here we have your standard 22 lever action. Personally, I'm not a big fan. Next we have the pride of the Old West here. 20 gauge double barrel shotgun. Cool. Now in the time I've done that and closed it up, three football players have tackled me and bashed my head in with a chair. Not good. Single action pistol. It's alright, I mean, if you want to rob someone, I guess. Your POS 25 uh, caliber little pistol. This thing couldn't kill someone if you shot point blank range at their eye. This, this right here, this is like the dirty, hairy fucking gun right here. Alright? I like that. Right there. This, this is probably my fav one of my favorite guns. I call her Milena. Okay, what are you doing? I am preparing the tools oh, for to apply this. Come on, Mel. Mel, get out of here. Go. <laughs> this is what I call the short skirt from Milena right here. This is an illegally modified stock. Why is it illegal? Because it's illegal to make uh, a weapon more concealable, because you have to have special licenses for concealed weapons. Fortunately, with our intents and purposes, we don't really need to worry about the legality of anything. No one cares when you order a stock. And why do they not care, you ask? Because it's a piece of wood. That's it. My best time so far is 64 seconds. I want to be able to do it at a moment's notice, because we never know when zero day's coming. Go. Done. 54 seconds. Hell yes! It's gonna stay in my dad's closet with the long skirt on for as long as it needs to, indefinitely if it has to. No one ever has to know or no one ever will know that I've made the short skirt unless I tell them. And then think about it. This sucker goes on 54 seconds. 54 seconds is all it takes for me to be able to hide this sucker come after you. Thank you for visiting us on this edition of Home Gun Show Review. For Andre and Cal, good night. Hey. Don't tell Dad, okay? Kermit. He was a fraud. No, not, not Kermit. Bike. <laughs> Bike. Ebenezer B. Hannibal. <laughs> It's You're like walking five... on someone. It's all right. They're hey. dead. Oh, is that a kid? Look, it's Willie. <laughs> Hi, Willie. What are we doing? We're just making fun of dead people. <laughs>
I like that name, Lillian. That's a cool name. I don't think I like the last name Tomlinson, though, because there's this kid who, um... See, I don't want to go telling another story of when Cal got beat up. <laughs> but, by but, a Lillian? No, it wasn't by a Lillian. <laughs> it was by a Tomlinson. So he was a big, mean fifth grader? No, no, no. He was, like, an eighth grader. So where's the, where's the fun in that? I mean, I wouldn't even have beaten up a fifth grader if I was an eighth grader. I guess you would have. Andre's the violent one, not me. I just heard you say Andre's violent. I didn't say that. He's not violent either. I don't know. Sometimes the the way he talks about people and just interacts with everyone is just a little... You mean like you? Little... Not me all the time. Just He's just a little offbeat and a little strange. What, do you think he's a bad influence on me, Mom? Well, he doesn't like you either, so it's okay. That's all right. I don't really mind that much. It's just that... I don't know, you hang out with him a lot, and I just don't want you kind of, um, becoming like him. <laughs> Why? What What do you think is him? He has a lot of anger. Problems or just anger in general? Well, he probably has anger because he has problems that I don't know about, you know, but... No, it isn't like his dad doesn't beat him or anything like oh, that. I didn't... Like, I'm your friend and all, and he's your friend, so he should at least try and be semi-courteous to me, but he's really not. He's a dick. <laughs> yeah, a lot of the time. I guess I just never conflict with him. Would you? Who would you consider the leader of the Andre Cal army of two? Is it me or Andre? Andre. You think it's Andre? I, I don't know. When you're with him, you're just, you're different than you are now. How am I now? And now you're the cow that I've known for a really long time. And when you're with Andre, you're like Andre number two. <laughs> Wait, why, why do you think that, like, I'm not the, he's not cow number two and I'm cow number one. How do you know that he isn't copying off of my, my style, yo? <laughs> Unless you have some sort of evil locked inside that I've never seen before, it's on. Oh, I lock it inside. Nobody, <laughs> nobody sees it. I keep it from everyone. Oh, yeah. Does yeah. he wear? Does he wear get boxers me. or briefs? Okay, or those it's your brief turn. You. No, no, no. About. You get up. You get up. And it is now my turn to now do this to you. The podium. Can you tell me why you always have to tape everything? Because it's <laughs> kind of cool. And why do you think it's so cool? I, I guess that, I don't know. Why do, why do I tape everything? I have no idea. Come on, Cal. I, I don't. I just like it. Mm, no, it's just that Andre likes me to film uh, girls' asses for him. And... Oh, okay. I don't think that's really why you like to film things. I think you're still hiding something, Cal. I'm insecure <laughs> and I need attention. <laughs> are, are you serious? Is that, is that why you... Yeah, I seem really insecure too, don't I? Yes, Cal. Look at me, I'm... No, I, I don't know. Yeah. Well, maybe, maybe there is something that Andre wants you to uh, videotape for him or something like that. Not necessarily everyone's ass, but <laughs> maybe he's gay. <laughs> and so I'm videotaping what? You. What does that for have him? To do? I want you to get out of the town because now Andre's going to see you on this tape. <laughs> see, I told you. I knew you were going to show it to him. I'm not going to okay. show it to him. Pipe bombs make excellent anti-personnel weaponry for two reasons. First, they're cheap and easy to manufacture. Basically, anybody can buy the components. And two, because they're extremely effective for their size. Baby bomb makes a big boom. These pipes are just normal galvanized steel. Don't get plastic pipes because they'll just end up melting. Don't get any more expensive metal than galvanized steel because you're just going to blow it up. As with building any weapon, security is key. And so you should just use common sense. Don't get the pipes at the same place you get the caps. No need to raise any issues or questions. Just go from store to store buying all the different components. They're all the same. Uh, when you're referring to making your explosives, you probably don't want to call them explosives because should someone overhear that conversation, they'll know what's going on. Um, you can use a code word, really anything, sunglasses, wallets, peanuts, you know, it doesn't matter. You might laugh now and say, oh, they're making peanuts, ha ha ha, that's funny. But 
if you think about it, it's the only way that people aren't going to realize what's going on. And it could very well be the difference between success and failure. I like to do everything step by step, very orderly and efficiently. So you take half the caps that you have and you drill holes into them. You put those aside and don't touch those for a while. You take fuse and you cut specific lengths. You can have a longer fuse if you want to have lots of fun or you can have like a short little fuse if you want to just have a little grenade that you throw and blow. Once you're done cutting the fuses, you want to take the caps that you drilled and you want to insert the fuse into the cap. Take the caps that you didn't drill and fasten them onto the bottom of the pipe. Now, once they're all fastened, you want to take the powder and take your funnel and then you want to put the powder in. There's basically two types of gunpowder that you can use. Smokeless powder and black powder. Smokeless powder burns slower because it's some chemical thing that involves no smoke, but black powder burns faster and makes a bigger boom. Uh, there's no need to spend a lot of money on the powder because all you're getting is a different name on the jar. It's all the same shit. Whatever blows up faster and is cheaper is the best stuff to go with. Don't wear a suit and tie when you're doing this stuff because the powder leaves black marks all over the place, as you can see, all right, on, on the gloves. Some, we had some like that, you want to, it leaves it all. Now, you don't need that on your hands and on your arms and on your clothes or on your floor because then, let's say, your parents or your friends say, hey, why do you have all those black marks on your hands and your clothes? And you, you're going to be hard-pressed to make an explanation. Shrapnel is important if you want to kill a lot of people, and it's probably the simplest ingredient because you can use pretty much anything. Uh, we use screws here, but... You can use whatever the hell you feel like, uh, thumbtacks, uh, nails, small caliber bullets, uh, paper clips. paper clips. Now that you have the pipe filled up with shrapnel and powder, you take the cap and you just screw it on, making sure that the fuse goes into the powder. Uh, we've also experimented with duct taping shrapnel to the outside. And as far as its effectiveness, uh, we can't say anything because we're not testing any of them and we won't be using them until zero day. So if you really want to know, you might want to ask a survivor. We've decided where the source of the other guns will be besides Andre's father, which is going to be Chris. We're going to take them sometime before zero day. I feel a little bit guilty about taking them from Chris, but you know, we are going to steal them from him, we're going to steal them from him, so like, he won't get in any sort of trouble because of that, I don't think. It, I've been thinking and it, it occurs to me that a lot of people are probably going to wonder like, how could somebody do something like zero day, like what we're going to do, but I want to know is, how could somebody just... How could somebody just kill themselves? How many kids want to kill themselves and do? You know, thousands of kids do this. But how many of them realize that the way of the samurai is found in death? I'm not going to leave cleanly. I'm not just going to fade out. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to make my mark and then... It'll be my time to die. I mean, it's a it's a lost cause when you when you just kill yourself. You know. It, it's it's almost a one in a million chance that two kids like me and Andre are, you know, come together. But you know that that's that's just this town's misfortune, I guess. No fortune. It's their fortune. It's your for it's 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 your fortune because you're going to be a privileged few who who get the 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 wake up call that we're delivering to you. You're gonna get my my meaning in this really concentrated, thick, jelloey form poured all over your homes and everybody else will just have to see it on the news. And I know you're all gonna be like, I had a cousin who was in the school and no, good for you. Yeah. Listen to how out of tune this is, everybody. And all these little ones down here, there's like... All those, there's like 19 strings on here, and these down at the bottom are supposed to naturally resonate 
harmoniously to the to the uh, to these main strings right here, and I even have a broken string on here. All right, so this is pretty much mission three. It's it's like a uh, training simulation, I guess you could call it training sim. Um, it's a weapons test. We're working with my cousin Chris. He's who's our unwitting patsy and accomplice. Uh, he's gonna take us out shooting, and we're gonna record it. We're gonna kind of case his place at the same time and uh, see where he keeps keys and everything. And I want to make this clear right now. He has no idea what's going on. He doesn't know what we're doing. And he has no knowledge of anything that's happening. He just so, thinks we're going out to shoot with him. And that's exactly what we're doing. We're yeah, just yeah. going to shoot right now. There's nothing else going on. Nothing else going on. Yeah, that all right? Hey, your boat dress for it. I brought a bunch of stuff. I brought like bowling pins, some cantaloupes. <laughs> we so. brought we brought some uh, a Barney look-alike, a Ninja Turtle, a Ninja Turtle. Outstanding. All right. All right. <laughs> my friend Jamie. He's, oh, he's nice. lent us Hello, a shotgun. Right now we're gonna we'll use the 22 first. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're out. What are we shooting next? Mm. We'll this? shoot the Lee Enfield. You put it in like that. Cool gun. It's really cool. It's loud though. Yeah. Well, you want to try it, Cal? He's a natural. Natural selection. Oh my god. Oh my god! Whoa! It knocked your glasses down! You're getting a lot more steady with me. Okay, who would like to try this? <laughs> Rapid, come on. That is very different. Look at how it grazed it. Look at that. My mommy was killed by a hunter. Now I will be too. <laughs> Pull the slide forward and it's ready to go. Let's get and make sure you point it right at it. Right in the Yes! <laughs> this gun's the best gun. It's my favorite. It's got a lot of power and a little recoil. Perfect. Give me that radio. <laughs> now let me shoot her in the head. Nobody's filming you. 
Why are you looking at us? Do you ever take them out like that, like all at once? How yeah, like, sometimes. Have all your neighbors looking? Well, where do you get them all? Well, I bought them at you know, the store. Oops. You know, I bought them at gun stores. Oh, I need this. What am I thinking of? I tell you, I'm so freaking tired, it's not even funny. Which gun do you think would be the best to actually kill somebody with? I don't know, they'd all pretty much kill somebody. The eight ball is supposed to be the last colorful ball with a number on it. Shh, go home. Maddie, black is not colorful. Shh, go okay, never mind. It is, though. It's That's the, the presence absence. of all color. That's the absence of all color. You're having a bad idea. <laughs> no, no, do it. It's this way. Ah, oh, that is cool. <laughs> that works so well. <laughs> do the Jamaican dance, Mommy. All right, Eric, come here. Why do old people carry canes? To scomomo you. And what's scomomo mean? It means they whack you with their canes. What if all of the old people of the world united and they all took over the world with their canes? Mm, that's scary. What if they whacked you and like cracked your skull? No, they wouldn't get that much power. It'd have to be a lot yeah, they of wouldn't. little. It'd have to be a lot of old people like whacking you and giving you bruises. Kind of like the birds. <laughs> they pick, 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 and you'd have little divots. Okay, go get dressed. I'm, I'm ready for some coffee. Read it all out, too. The Zero Day Invasion Plan. Presented by the Army of Two. Really, one question that you guys might have had is, why do they call it Zero Day? The people who've done this in the past have always had a predetermined date to do it on. May 27th or whatever. That's kind of sloppy, because if you have all these plans laying around saying May 27, May 27, May 27, all been circled in big red ink, people are going to say, well, what the hell's going on on May 27th? So we decided that the easiest way to do it would be for us to coordinate everything so that we're ready at a moment's notice, and then do the attack on the first day of the year that's zero degrees. We set it up so that we wake up every day at the exact same time to the exact same radio station. Monday through Friday, we wake, and not counting Jewish holidays, of course. When we wake up in the morning, we hear the weather report first thing. Three degrees, four degrees, below seven. Doesn't work. <coughs> the first day we hear, excuse me, first day we hear the guy say, zero degrees, we get up, we get our shit, blow some people away. Now, the first day of school is tomorrow, and uh, so now we can basically come at it in time. So we figured now's the best time to go over the invasion plan and basically go through the guidelines and through the outline that we've produ produced so that you, the viewer, can go ahead and do such a thing on your own. The school resource officer is basically your main preliminary target to be considered. In order to maximize the effects of your attack, you should be sure to eliminate any opposition as soon as possible. Confinement of the enemy is paramount in light of the fact that any who manages to escape can end your fun prematurely by using a cell phone or other unforeseen means of communication to alert the outside world before it's convenient. Keeping to this logic, it is important that, when conducting a room-by-room -room assault, each room's population is thoroughly and completely reduced. The Army of Two has deemed it wise to have a secondary escape plan should your plans go unforeseeably awry. However, it is not only unwise, but also counterproductive to rely too heavily on said plan, in light of the fact that you may become too comfortable with its implementation. The preceding has been a basic yet detailed outline for our missions, ideals, and objectives. In conclusion, Live fast, live hard, and die by any combination of those two. Cool. The end. Okay. I've... You know, I've, I'm ready for zero day now. I'm ready for... for it to happen whenever it happens. I'm standing where I need to be standing, and I'm just trying to save this this spot that I'm at for when it actually happens because you know now's when I'm inspired so 
It's like I've been planning this forever. And when and when Andre and I came together, it was like that whole time before I had, you know, built up my part and he had built up his and then we came together and made this like point. And then from there, it all just you know what I mean? We never said, you know, let's go shoot the school, let's go do this. Because we didn't need to, it was already there. So I'm I'm ready. You ready? What the fuck? What? Why are you dressed like that? It's a mission. Why aren't you dressed? Because you didn't tell me what the mission was. If we're going to be going out somewhere, I don't know. I don't want to be caught off guard. So, you want to tell me what this secret mission is? Uh, no, actually. So, what are we doing here now? A poem from Raleigh. Raleigh is a hard-working man. He turns our electricity's crank. He takes care of our children, like a modern-day Anne Frank. So if you get tired of life, if you feel you're getting bored, the church is Christ's wife, the house of our Lord. Thank you. What are you, what are you doing? Just some fun. The gun may be the perfect weapon, he said, standing between a rock and a hard place. But a gun is nothing without a bullet, I replied. I am my bullet. I live my life along the perfect, parabolic arch of, of purpose, meaning. And then there was that time that you stepped on the landmine, and I never forgave you. And you could feel the entire rise and fall of the Third Reich at your feet. It's a wasted life. Yeah, I know what it was, but can you tell me why you did it? What were you thinking? What the fuck? Just a man. In the morning, into beautiful It's really things. deep. The flowers bloom. Wait, is this a comedy act? Guys, come on, man. Look at you guys. There's like five other people out here. You guys make up 50% of the audience. Can you just... Yeah, yeah, whatever. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Wait, wait, wait. No, start again. Seriously? Dude, we paid attention when you were up here reading yours. Why can't you just listen to us? Point me when I'm supposed to laugh, that's all. All right, we're getting out of here. Sorry, God. sorry about this, guys. Come on, we're leaving right now. Let's go. What the fuck? What? You take the camera. I don't even want to hold it anymore. No, you take it. I don't know. Your camera, man. Dude, Jesus. Oh, yeah, come back. Bring it. Fuck you. Take this, I gotta drop. No, no. Go. Yes, take it. Dude, it was awesome. How many times do I have to explain this shit to you before you fucking understand? I'm sorry, Lieutenant. You quit rolling the seat forward when you get out of the fucking car. Forgive me for speaking so bluntly, sir. And stop talking like you're in the fucking military. What happens if they go home and they tell their parents, hey, guess what happened? Some kid in an army shirt. So then they're like, oh, do they go to your school? Why, yes, they do. Well, I'm going to call the principal and get on the phone with him right away. They call the principal. You get called out of the office. You get sent to counseling or something. They, they, your parents tighten down on you. They call my parents. My parents tighten down on me. Fuck! Now what? Where do you want to go? What do you want to do? We're done. So, so we're done here, we're done, we're done, we're done. Here, okay, start the, start the, start the car. Pull up to the exit. Okay, ready, I want you to close your eyes. Okay. And drive, go. You're just gonna tell me where to go? Yeah, do it, go. Close your eyes. Uh, turn right, 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 right. Come on, keep them closed, right, right. Okay, straight, straight, straight. Are they really close? Come on, close them. Which way? Uh, left. Okay, now turn sharp left. Ready, straight. Okay. <laughs> this is so fucking crazy. This is what 
my dad and I used to do. We used to this. go, just in case. Yeah. You used to go like this and then just miss and go, ooh. <laughs> like this. Oh, I wrote this. Ooh. No, wait. I wrote that. Yeah, I wrote that. The our original plan was that zero day would be on zero degrees, but it only happened once because it was so warm this winter, and that was the day that Andre had diarrhea. So we uh, set a date, yeah, May first. It was kind of interesting how we thought like you know fate was going to decide when this happened, but you know in a way May first is fate too. I mean. When, when we when we started, you know, Andre and I had this plan that we were going to do this to our school and jump in the getaway car and go from state to state and do the same thing. <laughs> and, uh, you know, Andre may not realize this, but you know, that's not going to happen at all. Uh, you know, I'm coming out in a black plastic bag. Yep, that's it. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30 hours. That's more than an entire day's worth. Yep. Someone's got to sit and sift through all that. Okay. 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 Okay.
Aww. And, uh... Let me read. No, no. Come on, let me read. About come on, Andre. Stop. Come on. I've really enjoyed being in Mr. Ackerman's class with you this year. Mr. Ackerman is... No, come on, is, come on. No, no, come on, no. No, come on, no, no. He's dumb. Man. Come on. But... Come on. No. But you always made me laugh with the jokes that you made about him, except for the time that he heard you and you got kicked out of class, frowny face. All right, enough now. I don't want you saying her name. All right, it's enough. So how much stuff have we burned? Um, I'd probably say like two and a half, three thousand dollars. Yeah, I can go with that. Uh, <laughs> Shit. We gotta do it now. Uh, yeah, I think we just burned all of our worldly possessions. Everything. So what's going on with you in the prom? Are you still going with that chick? What chick? That, that Rachel bitch. Yeah. Why? Why not? I don't know, she's just kind of weird. I don't like her. She's like, she, she thinks I'm some kind of fucking psycho. She's always afraid of me. You are a fucking <laughs> psycho. <laughs> yeah, but so are you. Yeah, you're right. She doesn't even realize. Oh, it must be your pretty boy, blonde, good looks. And, what do you mean? You know, oh, I'm going to play with my hair now. Oh. oh. Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> When'd she ask you? Like last week. Just after my acne cleared up. I don't know what's going on. Hey, who's who's the acne one? Here? Yo, shut up, all right? Shut all up. Right, don't. Can't believe you I... got asked. No, you're not going with anybody, are you? No. No. Well, who says I didn't get asked? I just didn't want to go. You didn't get asked. That's a pile of shit. So. That makes sense. Even they're, though they're, they're gonna say one of us was the leader. I mean, I really don't, I mean, we, we joke, but I really don't think well, any one of us is, is more of a leader than the other. Why don't we, why don't we split the press releases? All right? All right. I could be leader for half, you could be leader for half. Sounds good. Look at it dying out, that is so cool. So every time the wind blows, it just goes out a little more. And the way we've talked about zero day, it's almost like that this fire is supposed to burn like a thousand feet tall. And... And, uh, never burn out. But look at it, it's just like black crap now. We got a good chat of Greg here. Hello. Baby playing with the lights. I've had enough what if I was in love with the whip? She's had enough of me, Josh. She's had enough you of know, me. She's had enough of me, man. Ryan! Hey, hey. Oh, hey, hey, whoa, quiet, quiet, guys, here. guys, guys. Right, um, Can you let him in? What does he have Wait, with him? Hi, Cal. Nice Hi, to meet Dad. you. I'm I mean, Sarah. we haven't really formally met. Hi. Josh, how you doing? Hey. Come on in. Close the door. We gotta get going. And that was Cal, matter. say hi. All right. <laughs> yes. Cal, how come you don't talk? talk. Greg. Yes. So what's up? It works. Not much. Talk to me, Greg. Uh, I'm going stag to the prom. Woo, baby! Yeah! Yeah! yeah. yeah. All right, so you know what? We're going stag. You guys want to sit back? You gotta make room for her. I don't know where she's gonna sit. Come on, the prom. Go. Okay, let's go. Get back in the car. Yeah. I'm getting. I'm coming. I'm coming. Okay. Ryan. This is gonna be a good time, guys. <laughs> I tell you, it's gonna be a these years. Guys, this is gonna rock the ass. It is. Rock okay, the wait, 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 wait. What? 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 It's gonna rock the ass. Rock the rock ass. You are gay. It's gonna rock the ass. You are gay. Yeah, what's up? Hey! Hey! Hi. Hi. How Are you speak? doing? We're partying. It's a prom, baby. Prom stands for promenade. I don't think he speaks English very well. What oh, don't know? Uh, we're famous. Would you stop fucking saying that? <laughs> Jesus! Right? You're gay. Shut up. Girls don't say what they mean, right? You're they, right. What? You're right. Say you something must and agree they, with they me. They say honestly. something and they mean another, right? Yeah. Just exactly. Exactly. As an example. Yes. I would like you know. to give me a blowjob as right now, and you say it. That's what you mean. Yes. It's like. I'm upset means I'm upset. It doesn't mean I was happy and I, I'm upset and I don't know what it is. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> oh, people are waving at us. Oh my gosh, it. there are people here. Hey! Alright, let's get a flash shot of everybody. Flash shot of everybody. Flash shot. 
Right through. Hey, floor. I don't get in the shot. All right, fine. Come on, let's go. I'm so excited. Let's go. Come on. No, I gotta go first. I gotta go first. No, I'm not saying it. Hey, Andre. What are you doing with the camera? Hi, well, I just thought I came by and take a little footage for the family archives as it is, you know? Maybe, who knows, maybe I'll send it to your grandma in Montreal. So that is your fabulous job now. Oh, yeah. How long until you're done? Now. I'm pretty much all set. You want to get out of here? Hey, André. What's that, deine Flüssel? Yeah, so immer. Yeah, ich habe gedacht, du kannst ein bisschen, maybe a little driving lessons on the way home. Sounds good. Watch the cars. Really? I'm not supposed to jump in front of them? Not just yet. Okay, was it busy tonight? It was alright. I mean, you know, yeah, I get to wipe down at the end of the night. Woohoo. Hey, listen, somebody has to do it. We all started it. You know how I started. We all yeah. did this. You cannot start up on the top as the head, uh, the head pizza man. That's true, but luckily I have absolutely no desire to be head pizza man, so... Yeah, I'm I, good. Don't don't become the head pizza man either. Yeah, don't I know it. There are better and bigger things out there for you. Yeah. Like you wouldn't believe. Oh, I do believe. Whoa! <laughs> Take that curve a little bit slower next time, please. You didn't like Remember, that. this is a driving lesson. This is not Le Mans. I realize it's only... A pizza drop and uh, you don't seem to be doing that uh, important thing there but uh, it's amazing how much it made you grow up in the last few months maybe even a year already by now if you keep this up you're gonna you're gonna have that car paid in no time hopefully you know I never thought I was not wait a minute I'm not finished with my speech here but uh, <laughs> you know how difficult this is for me I never thought I was gonna say this but I'm proud of you you did good you never thought you were gonna say it well uh, <laughs> Not that I don't always mean it, but you know me, I'm having a problem with saying these things. Absolutely. It's not necessarily the macho thing to say. Yeah, well, I guess you could. So keep doing way. what you're doing, and you'll do just fine. Like I said, that car should be paid for in no time. And who knows, your mom and I will maybe even help you out a little bit. Sounds good. Wow! You're down there, you want to <laughs> shut up? Oh, oh. Brian. Brian, you're horrible. Brian's a dick. Yes, so reach. How There's you been? nothing wrong with being a little bit. How long have we known each other? A long time. Yeah, how long, mm -hmm. have, how long have you known he's gay? Too long. A long time. <laughs> Hardy, har, har. So, so how do you how do you feel about me? Take me to Andre's, please. Oh, Andre, knows like everybody knows where Andre's is. Oh, Andre, I don't know. You know where Andre's is? Who's Andre? No, actually, I don't. Maybe, maybe <laughs> let's not go to Andre's and you could yeah, stay how with you us. Show with us? Yeah, yeah, he doesn't not. know who Andre we'll is. Andre. And he doesn't know how to get there. Uh, can you take me to a, a specific place? Okay, ready. Well, I, do you really have to go? All right, one? Yeah, yeah, I have to go. So you wouldn't mind uh, uh, Why are you Can going? I escort Rachel to the remainder? Of course. Okay, Rachel. Rachel. Find Josh. Yo, yo, he wants to know where you're going. Uh, uh, not this one right here. Now this Andre. Now, gay? Just gay associated with him and Andre? No. No? No. No, what's the matter? What's the matter? And now you're going to take a quick left. Rach. Right after. You're right. Nothing, we're having fun. Rachel's fine. We're all having fun. Yeah, Wheeler, I think, is the name. Wow. Is he gonna come out and say hello to everyone? I'm really sorry. Is he come out? Is he gonna come out and greet you? You want him to? <laughs> I know you love seeing his face. Right? <laughs> I know, I do. Uh, that one right there. Right there. Stop, like right here. Right here. Yeah. I'll I'll be right back. Yeah. I'll be right back. Put this little thing up. Right? Where's he going? Party. He's going to see Andre. Okay. What's the matter? Why don't you like? What's the matter with Andre? Andre? There's a lot of the matter with Andre. Like what? I don't know. Is he anything like cow? 
Cal's that's Cal supposed to be. Sweet. He oh, is, hi, Cal. Cal's just he's just quiet. Oh, hi, Cal. Cal! Cal. Hey. What's up? Uh, Cal's back. Uh, yeah, so um, Andre's naked and won't be <laughs> joining us. That's great. Uh, so I'm gonna go meet him. I'm the gay one. Naked. <laughs> yeah, I'll be naked. In let him go. Just let him go. Have fun. Uh, okay. Bye, Cal. Thanks it was nice meeting you. I'll yes. see you and bye. Oh. Nice yeah, meeting you, Cal. Bye, oh. <laughs> 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 See you, see you bye. bye. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I get it. Yeah, it's funny. Uh, <laughs> bye, Cal. See you later, man. Bye. Nice yeah. meeting you. Bye. Yeah. yeah. I had a good time. I hope bye, you Cal. Back. You rock ass. You, you rock, rock ass. ass. <laughs> okay, I don't like him. Bitch. <laughs> 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 All right, go. Okay, some things then. We acted alone. We obtained the weapons alone. And nobody knew that we were going to do this. Our, our, our parents had nothing to do with this, and so everybody knows they didn't know anything about it. I mean, when our parents find these tapes, I mean, what are they going to think? Oh my God, I was asleep upstairs while they were in the basement recording this, we could have known, we could have stopped them. No, no. That That's bullshit, Mom. Don't worry about that. All right, so you found us and you think, Jesus, I'm sending them to counseling. We have to stop this. We'd go through counseling, you know, we'd wait a period, and then... We'd just come out and do it anyway. Exactly. You know, you could think that you've cured us, and we'll make you believe that, but you can't cure somebody who has nothing wrong with them. Don't feel guilty about this. I mean, it's not your fault. We love you. I mean, we weren't morons like every other loser that's done this. I mean, we weren't a bunch of fuckos and retards who were just starving for attention. We fooled everybody. I mean, even if we hadn't, could you blame them for not noticing? I mean, who wants to think that their son, their student, their classmate, their peer, their employee is going to do something like that? There are no reasons, and you're all going to look for them, but you're not going to find them. So fuck you, fuck that, Fuck the reasons. There are none. This isn't our fault. I mean, you made us what made me what I am. For years, we've I've been tormented by all of you assholes. Okay, I I was called a faggot for walking down the hall in school in a shirt that came from fucking J C Penny. It's a fucking shirt. Who the fuck cares? In Europe, in the medieval times, if somebody insulted somebody, you know, you, you whipped out your fucking sword and you dueled them and you killed them, and... Make no mistake, we've been insulted. Yeah. Now it's time for the duel. I know that this will be my, my last day. It's zero day, it's my last day, but that one day, I'm gonna live more fully than anyone has lived in their entire lives. We will be more powerful than God. We're gonna be God. No, no mistake about that. We'll be fucking God. I mean, we decide who lives and who dies. Anybody who manages to get out, years from now, their fucking puny little life is gonna have meaning and they're gonna thank us. Because they're gonna think that God spared their lives. It's too bad that this is what we have to do, but... We're doing it, so... And don't waste this opportunity. Don't just say that these people's lives were lost for nothing, because... It's just stupid. Just wake up. We're not trying to waste anybody's life. We're trying to show people what they should value. Respect and love your fellow man. I mean, it might seem like we're hypocrites for saying these kind of things, because we're not... Or at least you don't think we're doing that. But we're doing the most respectful, most loving thing we can do right now. We're all animals. And eventually we'll all die out. So enjoy it while you can. One more thing. I have a safety deposit box at the First National Bank. I hereby bequeath it to CNN and Wolf Blitzer, or anybody, any media people who want it. I think that's it. Yeah. Fucking 
I don't want to like trash his computer. Anymore. All right, we'll leave his computer alone, but we gotta make it look like we broke in. There's a there's a there's a party across the street. I mean, it makes it a little different. We're not egging Brad Huff's house. There's still people sitting on the porch, so I don't. That won't be a problem. We'll we'll try to go around the back. God, dude, camouflage really works. It worked? No shit. Alright, just I'll be meeting at the front door. Damn, we're gonna hurry up right through the window. Is that the one you want? Why don't we sit the bag out on the bed and we'll take everything out? Here, just do it. Clips. Okay, good. Dad. No, they didn't fall out. Backup shotgun, just in case. Put the safety on and just take it. We don't need to mess with it, right? Just... Wait, I want to see which stuff... He took the, the indicator thing off. All right, I'm going to put it back. Let's just get out of here. I don't want to get my brain blown out before zero day. Okay, can we can we leave now? Well, we'll wait, wait, we just, just... Relax, hold on, hold on. Take a breath. Relax. We're okay. No problems here. We got everything we came for. Yeah. You know what? As for everything else, it'll take them a while. I'm writing Chris a note. Why? I... No, you're gonna fuck everything up. Don't leave a note. What if he finds it before it's time? A pen. Index card okay? Or envelope? Thank you note envelope? Yeah. Oh, right. Shit, right here. Just something that's... Right here. Chris. What am I gonna say? Uh, sorry we stole your guns. Needed sorry. it for our secret plan. Uh... We stole your guns. We need it for a movie. <laughs> yeah. Hope you had fun at yo yo mamas mamas. Stay here when I pull up. Bring the stuff out. I'll be back in two minutes. That would not be him. Hi. Hi. What y'all doing? Uh, just making a little video. Of the neighbors? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Give me the camera. Oh my god. Pick it up, hurry up. We don't have time for this. Let's go. Take it. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 oh my god. Did we just <laughs> <laughs>
Aim. Let's get this shit done. Let's kick the tires and light the fires. Nine one one, what's your emergency? Yeah, uh, I think there's a shooting at my school. We have units on the way. Can you find? Do you see any perpetrators? The men with the guns? No, not, not really. Like, there's like a lot of people in my area. Can you tell huh? me where you are? How uh, many people? Can you see the perpetrators? Can you see the guys with the gun? I don't know. Are you inside or outside? Shots fired. Hello. Shots fired. Hello. 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 Can you pick up? Hello. Hello. Can you tell me where you are? Hello. Can you tell me where you are? Oh, oh, oh the shooting in the school. Where are Help you me. at? Help me. Turn the fucking shooter. Turn the fucking cops. Perpetrator has the phone. We've got the perpetrator on the phone. Did you see her fall? Oh, oh, I've fallen. Oh no. I think they're dead. It really doesn't matter now. They're gonna die. There's two people. Oh, Male. They're fucking bleed to death. There's two shooters. Male. We're such mean people. Yeah. Hello, can you pick up? Hey, it's our little buddy. How you doing, little buddy? Come on, no, no hold up, hold up. We got a phone call here. Andre. Any, hold on, any last words? Come on. Andre! Perpetrator's name is Andre. Andre? Andre? Can you pick up? Hey, everybody! Hi. Several people in the room. That's funny. He's got them held hostage, two perpetrators and women in the room. Shots fired. Several shots fired. Rapid fire. Shut up! Shots fired. Shots fired. Can you hear me, Andre? Andre, can you pick up? No! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh go away! Andre, can you pick up? The blood, Jesus. Some victims may be injured and go down. Is the gun pointed at you? No! Shut up. What? What? Are you dead yet? No, you're still alive, aren't you? Perpetrators are threatening the victims. Shut up! Shut up! Perpetrators are aggravated, threatening victims. Andre, can you pick up? One of the victims talking to a perpetrator. He's trying to raise him with him. What? You're still alive? One of the victims is trying to reason with him. You want me to stop? <laughs> you want me to stop right now? <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> look at look at her right there. <laughs> Shut up! Rapid fire! Rapid fire! Rapid fire! God. Changing words. Perpetrators indicate a pistol. There's more than one weapon. 
There's more than one weapon puppet. Yeah, look. It's Greg. That's another victim. Victim's name is Greg. Greg, sit down, man. Sit down, I'm relax. Victim's pleading. Sir, <laughs> I like that. I caught you, sir. Please don't I can't kill you. You're too pathetic. You're going to live today, man. You're going to live. Several shots. Rapid fire. <laughs> Did the job. Hey! Hey, look! It's another guy behind the couch! There's a victim behind the couch. Nothing? Not even home, please help me! Hey! Stop! Fuck you! Fuck you. He kicked him back for a He totally went back for his fucking bag. One of the victims has escaped. Probably had like weed in there or something. Male victim has left the room. If he gets out, he's he may not be coming trouble. out. He should be coming out. Oh look, he fell. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? Andre, can you pick up? Andre? Hello, can you pick up? Weapons loaded. Andre? Can you pick up? There's absolutely nobody left in here. Perpetrators may now be alone in the room. Anybody else alive in here? Just us. Perpetrators indicating no one in the room. No. Yeah. Perpetrators indicate no one in the room alive. Hello, can you pick up? Andre, can you pick up? Andre? Weapon empty. Andre, can you pick up? You can see my reflection in his blood. Look out there. That is a lot of fucking cops. They see units coming yeah. in. Come on, let's go get a couple. No. You're talking about shooting and responding no. units? No. Come one on, let's go. One perpetrator's apprehensive. I'm, I'm done. What are you... Why, how are you done? Okay, you're done. Dude. I'm not... I don't... I'm not done. No. no. It's all right. We're just... Would you rather get shot by cops or... By yourself. We're gonna have an attempted suicide. Guess you're right. We may have an attempted suicide. You guess or you know. I know. Talking about suicide. Yeah. You're right. Talking about suicide. Yeah. Andre. Andre? I'm out of oh, Andre, can you pick up the phone? Weapons loaded. Andre. We can work this out. Can you pick up the line? Alright. Andre, can you answer? Hey, Andre, where are you? Andre, where are you? One. I think they're going to do it. Two. Wait. Do it. <laughs> I can't do it. Perpetrator Andre's apprehensive. I, I just can't do it. One perpetrator's apprehensive. Andre. Andre. I can't. We can get you out of this, Andre. Andre, I can get you out of this. Just pick up the phone. Andre. Andre, I, I just can't do it. Andre, we'll get you out. You don't have to think about it. Doesn't have to be this way. I can't Andre. do it. Andre. Andre, we can get you out of here. Andre, can you answer? Give me a yes. Yes. Andre, One. we can get you out of this. One. Two. Wait. What a suicide. One, two, three, go. Or one, two... Go. Deciding how like many one, two, three, go. So do we shoot on four or do we shoot on three? I can get you shoot out of this. Four. Just pick up the phone. Everybody shoots on four, you know. So it's like one, two, three, shoot. Right. Except They're going on the numbers. One, two, three, bang. One, two, yeah. three, bang. Not one, two, bang. Okay, gotcha. 
Andre? One. Andre? Two. We can get you three. out of this. Why don't you pick up the... Oh. Shots fired. Perpetrators may be down. Open your window, open your window. Fucking media. Look at this. We're staked out all over the place. You know, we're gonna be on the other side, guys. That's not even like those guys can't see anything where we're going. Right. They'll just they're just right gonna hear right. about it in the morning. Right, yeah. Is that them? Can you see wait, where? Right there, right there. See over there? What? Right oh. there. See those crosses? And all fourteen of them. You guys got everything? There's the first one. Yeah, they don't go to school here. I don't know who all of them are. You know, I haven't seen the name, but they're like that. What's that? Right here. That's Jason. No, that's not. Oh, Guys, I don't know. Guys, let's be a little more respectful, all right? We don't know who they are. Oh, my. No. Guys, what's that noise? It's getting louder. Set your light off. What, what's the good sound again? Somebody's Ke probably over Kevin there. what? Whoa, this what is one's... this? What? 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 It's just it's one of those refrigerators. It's okay. Do you see anybody there? No, nobody. There's nobody. You sure? Can I find them? One, no, they're right here. Man. There they are. Look, That's people. Right people there. wrote shit all over it. We love you, Andre. We are praying for you. What's this bullshit? Go, go douse that one. Hold on. Go fucking douse that. Uh, hold on. Soak it. Soak it good. This fucker's gonna burn. You damn right you're gonna fucking burn. They're gonna fucking burn good. One, two, three. Get them up. Okay. Oh, yeah. Burn, you bastards. Burn in hell, motherfuckers. Burn. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get the hell out of here. Get this shit. Let that shit fucking burn. Nice. Nice. Okay, go. Go. I got it. I can't fucking get that. Get that? Oh, that's, that's their souls on fire, man.
Like, me. shut that off now. We're having a normal conversation. Ne next time, if I do This is for the this making over. of. Ow. This is going in the making of. Ah. I'm taping this for now. the making of Zero Day video. For the making of, let me get all this damage. Look at me. Don't I look so re? Yeah, I'm sorry. so sorry. You're sorry, all right. So That'll be good for the making of. You know, it's no. funny when 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 they actually see this making of that we make, that we're gonna be talking about. Is this for the making of? You know, when we when we actually put together the making of zero day, it's gonna be just like a lot of things that we do, and then somebody at the end's gonna say, "That would be good in the making of." Uh, you guys. Okay, here I got an idea. Oh. So, this is how this is how I'm gonna work. I think to some degree, unless it really screws you guys up here. Stop recording. I think. um... Are you, are we, tell me when we're recording. Is it recording? It's rolling. Oh, he forgot to hit the record button. No, no, he was recording. He was recording. He was recording. <laughs> is it recording? Yes, it is. What are you waiting for? Me? Yeah. Actually, stop it recording for right now, Cal. Because this will be good for the making of. All right, stop recording until we, until we're ready to go, Cal. Oh, this Wait, is another. Stop recording until we get going, Cal. Here, stop recording for a second, Cal. Nothing strange. Could you stop recording for a second, please, Cal? Whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait. Okay, Is it click? Did it click? It's clicked. Okay, whatever you do, don't touch that. Don't touch what? That. Uh, what did I push? What did I push? Okay, stop doing that. Just get it back to normal. Don't record while you're focusing. Don't touch the cuffs of your pants. Then just use this hand. Elbow down. Elbow down. Elbow down, remember here. Wait, go with it, go with it. Hold back, hold back. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hello. Sure, balloons. Ah, I'm Finny the Fool who doesn't like a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Ah. <laughs> I've had a question. Haven't you guys ever seen cops? And like, why would you videotape your crime? You guys scared the shit out of me. I thought you were the cops. <laughs> All right, I just want to get again to cover it. I just want to cover you saying, um... Uh, let's do it again. The safety was on again. Get that! Oh, Jesus Christ. Go like this. So I should do a little bit of Oh! Jesus! Oh, shit. What, nothing got on the lens! Wait, stop for a second. I think there's a spot on the lens. You can't see a ding dong ditch. Okay, continue. Stop recording. No, it's not a spot on the lens, it's a spot on the viewfinder. Don't blow the things at the lens. Okay, maybe less personal, but more kind of, like, like, I guess the way I see the scene, are you recording? No. I think we're pretty much out of tape. Quickly, for all you viewers, the reason there's no making of it is because we only have right? one tape and Ben is really anal about oh, that tape. Anal. These kids are gonna come over and fuck you the shit up. Why? Why? Ah, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Shit. Oh, shit. Because it's a piece of shit. That's a load of crap. Dumbass. Yeah, fuckos. Love these guys. The door right next to it? Yeah. It was a bedroom. Yeah. Where there was tons of lesbian shit going on here. I don't know if you were living here at the no, time. No, but when? What year? This fucking year. Like, I'm this talking year? like a few months ago. <laughs> that was his Chris. No, you could have been. Chris and his cat. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Wait a minute. I'm going to tell him something, but just don't listen to me. Got it? <laughs> and then, and then the thing is, once you've had I wonder enough, if that'll pick up on the camera. What's that? I wonder if that'll pick up on Were here. you recording? No, I just started recording, yeah. yes. Well, no, because it's gonna, you got a glare, so you're going to see me in the monitor. Yes, I want to, Andre! I am the director! No, put the duct tape back where it was. Cal, sit up. And move the funnel back, you know, that, that kind of thing, you know, like... It's Do you have funny any you... idea what he's talking about? No, not really. Stop! Stop moving things around! Are you checking your hair in the lens? Fix the hair, fix the hair, come on. He said they both go outward! They both go in, in. Let's hard, you boys, I love you both. I think I'm gonna shave well. my head. <laughs> if you fucking shave your head without telling me, you know what I will do to you? I will beat you senseless. <laughs> Wee, check out. Don't the do that, what um, the hell are you doing? Um, be careful, be careful. Jesus, Jimmy. Stop, stop, you're gonna make me oh. sick to my stomach. <laughs> That's awesome, do that again. Jesus, God. Just go slow. Take yeah, it I was going. You gotta take it, Andre. I will castrate you. I hereby state for the making of and for all subsequent material that I have full faith in Andre's driving abilities. I was just slowing down. There's no need of talk castration. Chlamydia! <laughs> Chlamydia! Chlamydia!
man. I, I'm gonna keep my mouth shut because every stupid suggestion that I make, we always end up following. What Just else? do it in front of the camera because this is great. Let me see what else you want to use before we can actually start. I can always cut it out. No, that was so amazing. Again, brilliant. This is great. Everything's everything's good. Great. Good job, you guys. You're doing great. That was really, really good, you guys. This was great, too? That was really, really good. You guys, can I just say, so far from what I've heard, it sounds great. It sounds really, really good. He says that about everything, even if you suck. <laughs> <laughs> Cal, when you're done, turn to him and go, what? What? Do I have to say something? They're too dumb enough to figure it out. What's wrong with you? Gang rape. This is a note I got from a girl. Back in like the fourth grade. And uh, sorry, wait, start over. This is a note I got from girl in like the eighth grade. This is pretty much our first mission. Sorry, it's the second mission. You don't get more real than fire. No, you don't you don't get more real than fire. Oh, you know what? Start over. You don't get more real than fire. Any questions? You don't get more real than fire. You ever sharpen your pencil? And uh <laughs> <laughs> Did I mess that up again? Yeah. Ben, come here. You want to see my atomic bomb? I want oh, to that's pretty cool. This is like that part in uh, that that alien book where uh, in the uh, the aliens abduct the uh, soldiers and the, and they take them to this place and so they think it's heaven because it's all their like these houses and they resemble it to be like Earth and they go in and they find like their families in there. They're like, oh damn it, we must have died and we're all in heaven now. And then they end up all eating them. I have never heard of that, ever. Andre, put your finger over your nostril. No, on the side. That is modern art. I'm on a streak, a spontaneo streak. That's like, I just cool. made up a new word, too, spontaneo. This is a game I call walking into traffic. Okay, close my eyes and walk. That was real spontaneous right there. Or, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, spontaneo. Spontaneo. What the fuck are you doing in my house? What are you doing in my car? <laughs> That's funny. What are you doing in my <laughs> What are you doing in my car? <laughs> oh my god, that's funny. Are you a ninja? Why, well, yes, I am. I know, we actually, we're part of this group called the Rayelians. Mm -hmm. Have you heard of us? Are you from space? Make sure it works, man. You don't want to get out there and have it not work. <laughs> that would suck ass if it, like, got started. <laughs> oh, shit, shit. Yeah, <laughs> man, you're step Nice. One more time. 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 Yeah. Woo. All right, also, do you guys want to come in and see where the keys are kept? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, man? I gotta talk about it. It's just funny as shit. Stop recording for a second, Richard. You're aware that you're recording during all mm -hmm. this?